Welcome back to the channel, everybody. I am Laura. I'm Michelle. And today we are presenting to you three ways to make your tofu so tasty. The thing that people always complain about going vegan or trying a plant-based diet is like, like I can't give out meat, it's so flavorsome and like, like how could I yeah. <laughs> eat tofu instead? And this is three different ways we love having our tofu that we promise you is so tasty, yeah. so full of flavor, you'll absolutely love it. Today we have for you a spicy, three, three a yeah. spicy tofu. Scrambled tofu. And? Bacon, that's bacon. my favorite one. Like, this is your, your yeah. favorite, fake bacon. We actually served this also at our wedding. Mm -hmm. <laughs> we did. Let's mix it up and show for you guys when it's ready. One, right. two, three. Let's go. Woo. The great thing about these recipes is that they are one bowl, which is my favorite. You pretty much are going to take your tofu into your bowl, mix together all the spices, and then throw on the pan to cook. But my little secret, or really your little secret, is if you have the time, is to uh, marinate the tofu for like two days, two days or so. The bacon's like amazing after two days. So we always keep our tofu in bulk. So we'll have a big container and we'll prep our tofu, we'll keep it in the fridge, and then two days later we pull it out. And that way all the flavors are fully absorbed and it's so good. But if you're in a hurry, like we are today, we're just gonna mix them together in the bowl and serve, and they're still amazing. So in your bowl, pour in all your liquids, your soy sauce, your maple syrup, your peanut butter. Toss in your chili and chili flakes, and fresh chili from the garden, just for some extra spice. Mix together all your ingredients and then finally toss in your tofu. Stir to combine and make sure that your tofu is fully coated. So we'll leave this just to rest for about 10 minutes as we prep the other things and then it's ready to pop onto the stove and shallow fry. All right, so we are up to our second tofu dish and this is scrambled tofu. And if you're someone that is trying to head towards a more plant-based diet and you're struggling to give up something like eggs or you love scrambled uh, eggs in the morning, this is a perfect alternative. So with your tofu, you wanna break it up into these sorts of scrambled chunks. With our spices, we're gonna toss in our nutritional yeast, which is just like probably my favorite ingredient. It's such got such a nice sort of cheesy flavor to it. We've got our uh, chickpea flour. This is gonna just help uh, the spices coat and stick to the tofu. Spices that I use for my scrambled tofu is some turmeric just to give it that yellow color. A little bit of pepper, a touch of chili, because again, I just like chili, but feel free to leave that out. Uh, but the secret ingredient is really some onion powder, some garlic powder, but the secret, the real, the real, real secret is the salt. And so you can just use normal salt if you want. However, if you can go to perhaps an Indian grocer and get Kalanamak salt, it's a black salt from the, the ash of a volcano. It sounds so dramatic, <laughs> but it has a real um, like eggy smell to it. So if you like smell it, it's got a real like eggy smell to it. And so mix together all your spices, but make sure with the Kalanamic that you top it right at the end because heat will actually um, kill the flavor. So mix together all your spices in a bowl, leaving out the Kalanamic. So mix together all your spices and your scrambled tofu together. And another thing that you might wanna do is mix together um, some soft silken tofu. In each of these recipes, we're just using firm tofu, but something that I love doing is using half silken and half firm in my scrambled tofu because it mirrors the same thing of like the egg yolk that's hardening and the like egg white that's always a little bit like softer and silkier. But we didn't have, we didn't have silken tofu, so it's just firm tofu today. <laughs> For our final tofu dish, we have got bacon, fake 
bacon. <laughs> so like our first recipe, we want to mix together our wet ingredients first. So we've got soy sauce and a little bit of maple syrup. The maple syrup is really key for any bacon because like bacon, although it has been eight years and I can't quite remember, it does have a little smoky um, sweetness to it. So we've got the maple syrup to add that sweetness and for the smokiness of bacon, we've got paprika, smoked paprika, which gives it that bacony, smoky nature. We've got some cumin and some garlic powder. Once your marinade has been fully combined, then we're gonna add in our strips of bacon. So we've cut ours into, gosh, my hands look a little scary. Don't get a, don't get a close up of that. But we've cut our bacon, um, cut our tofu into little strips to mimic bacon. <laughs> the vegan paradise. That's right? it, that's right. <laughs> vegan paradise is tofu. And here are three of our favorite ways we love eating tofu, just like every single day. So we hope you guys enjoyed them. Please let us know in the comments below. Which one is a favorite? Which one's your favorite? And yeah, yeah which one is your favorite? Depends, like in the morning, I really like the scramble one. Scramble tofu. So I really like the, the chili, um, especially with this like charred caramelization that happens around. But also like um, you making your Brazilian tapioca, my favorite uh, thing to have inside mm. is some avocado and some of the, the bacon. bacon. Yeah. yeah, especially because we had that at our wedding too, which is really special. All right, shall we try? Yeah. Yay! Vegan paradise. Mmm. That's black salt, it's a new thing for me. Mm. It's great, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It really tastes as egg. It makes the difference. It's worth finding it, finding it and adding yeah. it to your pantry cupboard. Mm. Yeah. I think I'm going to take one after that. Mm -hmm. But this one to be spicy, right? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> yeah. Mm. You're not the best with spice. Mm -hmm. I love my spice. Mm. <laughs> but it's very smoky, though. Huh? Yeah, it's smoky mm -hmm. with that hint of sweetness. Yeah. It's really perfect. Yeah. yeah. I remind a little bit of bacon, to be honest. It does. Yeah? yeah? My, my carnivore time. In your carnivore time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so. That's good, that's good. That's it. This one's good, yeah. And it just shows that if you're trying to move towards a plant based diet, you don't need to give up flavor. Mm -hmm. You can just make tofu just as flavorsome with some yummy spices and sauces. It's delicious. You gotta get a bit of chili on it. Come on, get a chili. Okay. Get a chili. That's right, do it for the camera. <laughs> nice bit of chili. Cheers, blink. Mm. I love the peanut butter. Mm. Mm. Yum. Getting red? No, it's chili for sure. For me, it's like a spice dish. Yeah. For me, it's my, let's say, the limit. <laughs> if you're not, not spice very you good take. spice. Mm. But like the peanut butter really combine well mm. and then make like a good That's flavor. That's a beautiful flavor mm -hmm. to it. Yeah, so the but saute. Then, yeah. Mm -hmm. I can feel like it's <sighs> <laughs> like a yeah. dragon. Oh, yum. All right, yeah, well, nice. thank you guys so much for watching. We really appreciate the love, the support. Give a like, subscribe to our channel. Please follow us along with our journey as we aim to one day open our own oh, cafe. Perfect, right? and spread the love and joy of eating healthy and yummy dishes. Yeah, all right, see you next time.